you live on the earth. Maybe. Anyway, I presume then that you have sometimes seen the sun in the sky and stuff. Compared to the earth, the sun is huge. Its diameter is more than a hundred times as long. And to scale, the earth is very far away. If the sun was the size of a soccer ball, the earth would be the size of a pinhead 26 yards away. The earth is so far and small that the rays of the sun hit it essentially in parallel. But forget about that for a sec. So here's a knowledge bomb for you. Earth spins. Now here's a second knowledge bomb. Earth is a sphere. So Earth is essentially a spinning ball. Now as it comes with spinning balls, you get two poles. The poles in a spinning ball, of course, being the exact two points which don't move. Two spots completely opposite of each other that do not rotate. On Earth, we call them the North Pole and the South Pole. North and South being completely arbitrary directions as space does not have an up or down. Great, but we can go further. Exactly in between the two poles, we have an imaginary line which rotates the fastest, you can say, splitting the spinning ball into two halves, two hemispheres if you like. This line is, of course, the equator. Everything north of the equator is in the northern hemisphere and everything south of the equator is in the southern hemisphere. Now here's where numbers unfortunately come in. We can name a point on the Earth using coordinates, latitude and longitude. This is what latitude is. Because the poles are exactly opposite of each other, and the equator is exactly in between the two, we can name them, and everything in between them, using angles. Now, imagine that the equator is zero degrees. The North Pole is of course 90 degrees away from it, while the South Pole is of course also 90 degrees away in the opposite direction. So, 90 degrees north and 90 degrees south. Let's go in between the equator and the North Pole. Suppose I stand there in between them. Watch my latitude. 45. 45 north to be specific to differentiate between the two hemispheres. Notice how the 45th latitude or alternatively the 45th parallel is 45 degrees away from the equator and the North Pole. Imagine a line going from the equator and the 45th parallel to the center of the Earth, where they will meet. The angle between them will be 45 degrees. That's latitude. Now I'm on vacation in Uganda, and I visit the equator, and it's noon. So I'm on the equator, and it's noon. The sun is directly above me, meaning the sun's altitude is 90 degrees. The altitude being how high the sun is, of course. The horizon is 0 degrees, while directly above you is 90 degrees. Now, I'm an elf in the North Pole. How high is the sun? What is its lat altitude? Well, it's directly on the horizon. Its altitude, therefore, is 0 degrees. This makes complete sense, as the difference between the North Pole and the equator is 90 degrees. So, of course, the sun will be 90 degrees lower. Now. You tell me, dear viewer, what am I going to see if I stand on the 45th parallel, which is around the latitude of Portland or Venice? How high is the sun going to be when I face the sun at noon? 45 degrees, exactly halfway between directly above me and on the horizon. Exactly due south as well, which makes complete sense, again, as I'm in the northern hemisphere. So of course I'll have to look south to see the sun. If I, was, if I was in the southern hemisphere, the sun would of course be in the north. This is fascinating because with the sun rising in the east and setting in the west, looking north means that the sun appears to travel from right to left, rather than left to right, is in the northern hemisphere. This is the very basics to understanding our sun's position in the sky. So, that's latitude. Those horizontal lines on the map. And if you want to know your latitude, well, Mr. Google can answer that in 2.1 seconds.